Hi crafters, I've got a lovely card to show today and I'm using the background die in a different way so I thought it would make a really nice demo for you. The dies we'll be using are the California Collection background and this is the one we're going to show you a really nice way to uh, use it differently than just as a whole piece. We're also going to be using the Beverly Hills set out of the California Collection and the decorative frame set B for our sentiment. Now, as well as that, I'm going to be using the heart lattice embossing folder to do some uh, textural embossing for the back of the card. And my sentiment today has been taken from the antique dress form set by Creative Expressions. So just so you know, you can use some of your sentiments for other things than what they're intended to. So I'll do my embossing first. Got my heart lattice and a piece of uh, lavender card. Just pop that inside. Let's get our base plate and our raspberry plate. I'll run that through the machine. I'm using the Grand Caliber to do my embossing, but these will fit any of your A4 size machines. Let's see how we came out. Ooh, looking stunning. There it is. Let me just show you how nice the embossing is from that. Really beautiful detail. I'm going to go ahead and put that onto a white mat on the back of my card and then we'll start to build up. Let's just use a little bit of double sided tape for that. A couple of pieces should hold it. And I'm just going to mat and layer that onto this white piece. Now, what I've done is, I'll show you, I have taken the background that's from the California collection, and here it is cut as a whole. And I've just taken it and cut strips out of it. So you don't need to use your backgrounds completely in one piece. You can take and do other things with them. And I just thought two backgrounds on this would be really pretty. So let's glue them into place and we can trim off any excess. I'm going to use a little bit of the Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue for that. Put some on both of them. There we go. And we'll just pop one down each side. About like that. Let's see if I can get that a little bit straighter. There we go. One down this side, and that'll frame our centerpiece nicely, I think. And I apologize, I do need to lean in a little bit just to make sure that I've got it centered properly. Give that glue a second to set up. Now, I've gone ahead and cut the die from the Beverly Hills collection. There's a lot of pieces that needed to be poked out. And then I've used the outer frame from the decorative frame set. So I get a really pretty die cut that way. Put a bit of mounting foam on the back. So let's center that in the middle. That looks nice. And I think while we're here, we can go ahead and put this onto our background piece and get that ready. Tell you what, let me just tidy that edge up a tiny bit pair of scissors. There we go. And I've got some mounting foam here and I've gone ahead and used some Cosmic Shimmer white PVA glue dots around the edge of this so they're good and dry. But you can see it frames the card really nicely. Put that into the center. There we go. Now I've got a sentiment that I'm going to, to um, cut and I'll use one of the decorative frames and this is the one from the Vintage Dress Forms. We'll tape this into place with our removable tape. Just let me center that over that. That looks nice. And take my cutting plate back out here. We'll do some inking through the die on this one. Looks like it's nicely cut. 
And let's set this aside. I'm gonna use the milled lavender for just a really light touch to this one. Just ink this along, picking up that edge. You've seen me do this many, many times, but it just does bring out the beauty in your die cuts. I, I think it's such a lovely way to frame in your sentiments for your cards. There we go. And that milled lavender is a very soft color too. And we'll just run our finger on the inside there and you can see how pretty that is. It's got a really nice um, embossed edge to it. So I'll use a little bit of mounting foam on the back of that. And we'll get that layered up. And then we'll show you a fun way to finish off your flowers. Just fits in there perfectly. Now I've gone ahead and cut several of these quilled faux flowers and layered them up. And what I've done is I've just rolled up a piece of the same color background paper and I'll show you how I've done this. I personally think it's easiest to use a quilling tool when you do this. Just catch the edge on your tool right between that slit and start to roll it. And I'll just do a quick job here, get all the way to the end. You can make these as big or as small as you like, but depending on the length of the paper you use. And you can even make them so they don't sit as proud. And when I get down to the end of this, I just put a little bit of glue on it. And roll that into place. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle while you're holding it and that will come right off your quilling tool. There we go. So I'm gonna put some glue in the center of these and we'll finish off these last two flowers and then we can assemble. Make sure that's good and set up. Put that into the center of that one. A Little bit of glue in the center of this one. And let's go ahead and put this together and see how pretty it is. Some Baker's twine, this is um, like a little purple and white and we'll put that on with a glue dot. I think just off to the side here, just a nice little accent. It's not, it's not like ribbon where it's overwhelming, it's just a little bit extra color there for you. And we will add some flowers here with glue dots all around. Put one right in the center. And these have just been cut in different sizes, so I think they look nice just scattered across the card. Oop. How about like about right there? Put another large flower down towards the bottom, I think. Let's go right off the edge there. And maybe one last flower here up in the corner. And there you have it, a really gorgeous card. And you see, you don't have to use your backgrounds as backgrounds, you can use them as borders. And I think it makes a really nice accent on your card.